is hosting the 2021 RV and Travel Show going on right now. We're here till 6 p.m. this evening and again tomorrow. The last day of the show at Mount Comfort RV begins tomorrow at 9 a.m. and runs through 6 p.m. We're here in the shop. If you hear noises, we had a little technical difficulty earlier, but we're back on here and we're happy to introduce to you Zach Eppers, who represents the Coachman Class A division. He showed us earlier an Encore. You can go back and review that video. A really beautiful gas motorhome. We're going to take just a half a step down in terms of size and price and take a look at a, glass, a gas motorhome from Coachman called the Pursuit. Here's Zach to show you all about the Pursuit. Thank you very much. Hello, my name's Zach. I work for Coachman RV. Happy to be down here at the Mount Comfort RV show. And today I want to talk about the Pursuit. So this floor plan is the 31BH. This is 31 feet long. It does have bunk beds. Those bunk beds do convert into a full wardrobe. It has a king bed, walk-through bath, really utilizes a lot of the space. And again, being right around 30 feet, great for national parks and tire parking spaces. Um, the Pursuit ranges in length right around 27 feet, goes up to right around 31 feet. And it comes, it's available in five or six different floor plans. So. Um, without further ado, let's start with the front. You get the nice, large Class A windshield. Um, you do have the new V8 motor in here. Uh, you get about 9% more horsepower, 2% more torque than the V10. Ford really beefed up the suspension. It's a lot smoother ride when you're going down the road. Uh, 350 horsepower and 468 pounds per foot of torque. Uh, you do have a nice, large um, access here. So this will come out and down. Um, it really makes it easier to access that chassis battery, uh, um, oil changes, things of that nature. Stainless steel up here, um, great for bugs and things like that. LED lighting. You do have side view cameras on the Pursuit 31BH and those will be, um, you turn on your turn signal or right, this is automatically gonna kick on, show everything on the right side. You turn your turn signal on and go left. Rear view camera too. This, this does happen to be sold. Uh, but we, they, Mount Comfort does have a couple more in order that will be coming um, here in the next few months. Uh, the 31 BH has an outside TV. This is going to be, um, this does have outside speakers. We mount the speakers into our awning, um, which is great. They're also, also directional out here as well. Nice large awning. It is an electric awning. Um, great storage in your pursuit. And you do have magnetic clips, so it's nice as you open this and those magnets just come together, keep it open. Here's your um, ladder for your drop down front bunk. Going over to the side, you have a uh, 110 outlets here on the outside, so if you want to plug in things, it's great for when you're camping. Again, you have the magnets, goes up like that. Nice exterior storage. And then this is going to be your largest storage compartment on the Pursuit 31BH. You do have a light in here. Again, huge storage here. Really utilize every nook and cranny in this coach. You do have uh, some that goes almost all the way through here as well. On the rear of the Pursuit, you have a rear ladder. Uh, it's a fully walkable route. There's your rear view camera. Rear fuel gas, which is great. So when you pull up to the gas tank, you can fill up on either side. You have a 5,000 pound towing hitch on the Pursuit 31BH. One thing I like about the 31BH is it has a full wall slide. And you'll notice the slide is on your non-camp side. So when you want to access your storage compartments and things like that, when you're set up camping, you know, you don't have to bend, bend underneath here to get to your, your main storage area on your campsite. So over here, um, there's going to be a 5.5 kilowatt owning generator. This, use, this is tied into the same fuel tank as your chassis. Once you get below a quarter tank of fuel, that's automatically gonna turn off so you don't run yourself out of fuel. It's a very efficient, um, uses, consumes about anywhere from about a half gallon of um, fuel per hour. And again, you have an 80 gallon fuel tank. So a lot of hours that you can run that generator. Here you have your outside um, shower. It's great for washing off after you get done with the beach or hike, or you wanna wash your your, your animals, gray water, black water tank, all enclosed. And then coming, coming along the side here, again, more storage here. Um, almost passes all the way through too. So again, you wanna throw exterior chairs in there, fishing rods, things like that. A lot of that stuff will fit. 
Here's your propane. And then here's um, some more storage right here as well. So without further ado, let's uh, go inside and check out the inside. So starting from the front here, again, Ford really upgraded the um, dash up here. And uh, everything's easy to access here, unlike in the past. It's a lot more updated, just looks a lot more automotive. Uh, it looks like a kind of a Ford F-150 truck. Another thing I like about Coachman that we do here is everything is reachable. So when I'm going down the road, um, you know, here's, I can adjust my mirrors right here, power heated mirrors. Um, one new addition that Ford did is um, automatic headlights. So you do have automatic headlights now. Your radio, again, I can, I can change the channel here. Um, I don't, I'm not reaching across or anything like that. And then when my chassis is on, this is where I can look at my cameras for my backup and side view cameras. And this is the monitor here. I can turn my generator on right here, auxiliary start, radio button, map lights, um, and control my front AC just for the cockpit area right here as well. Over here on your passenger side, um, you have a pull-out computer tray. You have some USB 12 volt outlets there, and then you're gonna have a 110 outlet right here. Cup holders here. Both of these chairs will turn all the way around. One thing I love about a Class A, especially at 31 feet, is your chairs will swivel all the way around, both chairs. So the driver chair is always a little bit more tricky. I just lean that forward. And again, I can spin this all the way around. I can bring this out even further to recline that back. Jackknife sofa here, three person, you know, you can get to sit three people here, big dinette, you get four people here. You do have a dream dinette, so for additional sleeping, this will just push down and make it to a bed just like so. Really easy to work. You don't have a leg or anything like that in the middle, so it's easy getting in and out. You also have a drop down bunk up here. Um, in order to do the drop down bunk, I'm going to have to turn this chair around. So you just have a latch here, you just hit that latch. And then you have another latch here, hit that. Super easy. This comes down. And this goes down right here. So again, nice bed up here. Um, it's manual. You do have a cover right here, but you would take this off. And again, your ladder to get up there is in your exterior storage compartment. But I just love how easy that is to use, to operate. You don't need electricity or anything like that. Coming over here to the galley, a couple things unique about the galley. Um, double sink, great. You know, we, we made this deeper, so coffee makers, um, things of that nature, um, little crock pot, you can, you can fit that right there. Um, you do have a microwave, stove top, oven, place for your trash can, soft closed drawers. This opens up, again, we try to utilize all space in this. So, you know, being a 31 foot motorhome and having a, a smaller galley, one thing that we wanted to really make sure is a place that we provide silverware, spices, and what we came up with was this little drop down. So this just, um, well, maybe. It looks like it's locked right now, but normally this would come back and then um, go down, um, but again, unfortunately it is locked. I don't have the key, but you do have more storage space up here. A 10 cubic foot refrigerator here. Uh, this coach does have 50 amp service. So what that means is you have two ACs and both ACs are gonna be the 15 KAC. Um, a lot of coaches this size are only gonna have 13.5, so you do have the larger ACs. And then you do have heat pumps on these ACs too. And what's great about the heat pumps is when you're camping, instead of using your propane to run your furnace, as long as it's 40 degrees or warmer, you can use the electric and basically that will work as heat and pump heat in here. Uh, if you get below 40 degrees, it's too cold outside and the heat pumps just, the air is too cold for them to take that cold air and convert it to warm air. Um, here's your control panel so you can check your gray tank 
L, um, here's your LP, batteries are full right now, fresh water tanks empty, black water tanks empty, gray water tanks empty, TV antenna radio, this turns on the power to your TV antenna radio. It is an omnidirectional um, antenna, so you don't have to adjust it, um, you don't have to wind it up or, or go down, just stationary, you just have to make sure it's on when you want to use it. You have a water heater that's LP and electric, a water pump here, you can turn your generator on here and then your slide to operate your slide here as well. You do have tank heaters on this, so a 12 volt um, electric heat pad that's gonna be under, um, that covers the bottom of your tanks that allows you to do some colder weather camping than if you did not have this. Here's your bunk bed. Um, so it's just about six feet long. The other thing that we do is we try to utilize and make everything multi-purpose. So, if you have the gas and you want to use this for sleeping, it's great for sleeping. But if it's just two people and you need that extra wardrobe space, what you can do is this lifts up. This is going to um, mount right here. And then what you can use is use this as a wardrobe. You can even take this out and then use this for more storage down here. Uh, people with dogs like to crate their dogs in here, put the crates in here. It's a nice option too. So coming in the bedroom, again, your bedroom for a 31 foot coach to have a king bed and bunk bed, it's very unusual. And what's nice is even though you have a king bed, it's still a walkable king bed. You have 110, 12 volt, or a 110 and USB outlets on both sides with uh, your, your end tables. We try to maximize, so we give you additional hanging storage here on both sides. You do have your coach path right here, so you can hook up a CPAP. You have 110 outlet in there. You can run your tubes down here for a CPAP. Again, more storage, both sides. Mirrors, and then you also have wardrobe space. Great, nice, large pullouts here. Again, soft close. And even your TV will open up and you have additional storage. The other thing I like about in here is you do have a window here so you can open the window get some fresh air in here but also you have a countertop here when if you want to lay out stuff in the morning you have um, an outlet here where if you want to plug in something hair dryer blow dryer stuff like that you can do that here um, and then also put photos and things like that in there so let's go in the, the bathroom and again the bathroom what i like about this floor plan is when your slide shut you can still get into your beds bunk beds, but then you can also still get into your bathroom very easy. The store opens up all the way. You have a toilet here. Your shower, again, I'm six feet tall and I can um, get in the shower, turn all the way around. Plenty of headroom, plenty, plenty of headroom. And again, for a 31 foot coach to have this much room is, is pretty amazing. So, um, you know, nice storage area here, more storage here, storage up here. It's not a huge bathroom, but again, we try to utilize the space as efficient as possible, especially to keep this right around 31 feet. Pocket door here, so it does close off from your bedroom um, for that privacy. Uh, a couple other things unique about Coachman is our ACs are ducted, they're residential duct work. Uh, a lot of people use styrofoam using residential duct work. It's just going to keep this smelling better. It's going to keep that mold, bacteria, and stuff like that out. Um, it's just going to really help keep this coach um, just around a lot longer than a lot of other things. The other thing we do is we do use a two inch thick sidewall. It's 33% thicker than a lot of other things than this size and price point. And we use an Asdell backer. So most people in the industry use wood, which is called Luon. And what happens is if, if moisture, um, or water gets in your sidewall that wood absorbs it, it expands, the glue comes undone from the fiberglass, you kind of get a bubble known as delamination. Coachman uses an Asdell, um, has a higher R value, it's lighter than wood, it's made out of recyclable material, but the great thing about it is, is it's impervious to moisture. So if you get water or moisture in your sidewall, there's basically a 99.99% .99 chance of never having delamination or wall failure. So the way that this wall looks now is gonna look for years and years and years and years to come. Um, I thank you for your time. And if you have any other questions, visit uh, coachmarv.com or the Mount Comfort website. And uh, you have a great day.
we appreciate Zach being with us here during the RV and travel show going on right now at Mount Comfort RV. If you have questions uh, yet today, uh, call us at 800-899-6676. 899-6676. That's 800. Toll free. Call us with any questions. Drop us a line. Go to mountcomfortrv.com to see our entire inventory. We're here, here till 6 and again tomorrow from 9 to 6. It's the last day of the show, so make plans to come out and see us. If that's not in the cards, stay with us on the hour every hour from 11 to 4 we'll be going live just like we are now bringing you uh, some close-up looks at a number of different uh, types of rvs from travel trailers all the way up to big diesel pushers so until next hour stay warm so long